Hi guys, welcome to this video. This is the what is new? What did we do the last month in June, right? The website has already been um, changed, although it's not yet the 28th, right? The official date now is 25th and in a few days time the ISOs will move from place. We'll just copy paste from AAG so the ISOs are already there and are there for you to test. AAG stands for Arch Linux, uh, sorry, Arch Linux Auditing Group, meaning anybody in the world can test our ISOs and tell us in Discord everything was fine or did this or did that, right? These are the ISOs. The D, XL, XS, XS, LTS, and Plasma. That's it. So that's what we're gonna release in three days. You can test them out now and tell us on Discord. In August, well, we're going in Belgium, we're going in a uh, holiday season. So July and August is no release, and September will be the first release again. If you wanna know, and that's what we're here for. What changed to my operating system? What, 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 are, what have we been doing, right? So that's this article. Read what is new and let's just go over it. The main focus in June was like um, previous months, the realization that it's fine to have an Arclinks project or a Cardi project or an LCI project or an Arisa project. And there are, these are all Arclinks projects, right? And it's all Arch Linux. That's the basic realization from last three months. It's all Arch Linux. And then I had always had this drive to get to know Python and GTK and the Arch Linux tweak tool. That's another change in the name, right? Arch Linux tweak tool. Since it's all Arch Linux, why not just call it an Arch Linux tweak tool and an Arch Linux logout and such more. So we've been focusing on technical bits and pieces of your operating system. If I change this there into that, what will happen and stuff like that. So the knowledge is there, but now we should write it in Python and GTK and all that. And that's what I've been doing. I'm playing with the ATT because the focus was no longer on Arclix. It was always an Arch, right? Because it's the basis. It's LCI, it based on the Kali. So what I'm reading now is all the Arch Linux based ISOs slash distros where the ATT works on. So any of our visits, we take along our little briefcase as I come to call it. We take the Arch Linux tweet tool to Xero Linux, to Garuda, to a riser. We launch it and we do our stuff. We want to have this and that and that. All the options you see up here, it should all work. So that's um, what we've been doing, done, blah, blah, blah. what we have done mainly, all right? Making sure that things like the fix SDM conf works even better. And it's part of the ATT now, and it's a separate video about it online. So what we see here are 13 numbers and this is the last one amos and what we see in the article is we go from 13 to 12 to 11 and so on so we report now 13 isos starting with amos and amos is a beautiful themed riced uh, xfce and this blue thing is an interesting thing here i missed it earlier on but it changes your xfc completely right just a click and boom, it's completely different wallpapers. Anything you see, it's all changed with some scripts. And that's the fun in Linux, right? Power of scripting. So I'm definitely gonna make more videos about Amos. There's just the one, I think, but we are on communication and we're gonna build ISOs and um, make some more videos. And they'll come in a playlist. So you'll find on YouTube, it is all Arch Linux, Amos. It is all Arch Linux and DevOS. It's all Arch Linux, Garuda. And in those playlists, you have all the videos you want to have. You can check out, all right? So Reborn OS as number 12. So we go from the bottom to the top. 
number 12 all these things have been tested and of course it's a work in progress i mean if reborn os changes we need to change and stuff like that so basically the message is a report an issue on discord of our colleagues the link is provided in the terminal if you launch the tweet tool there and also in the support button here so these are videos tests i've made and of course adapted the code to fit all of these 13 isos slash distros axel another one right what is this this is fish i3 and some videos to show you this is archlinks gui number 10 what is this again this looks like it's gonna be awesome with a new theme that we've made well we have not made it copycats have made it and we changed some things that so that it works on arch slash our colleagues and we have here bspwm it's just a click away you go to the desktop install bspwm and everything is available and we just work doesn't matter on which iso we start we have our dwm with all our key bindings it's there it works so next up is xero linux i've made some videos prior um, about it and it's also supported and even so that uh, we're either in close communication as always and he's going to add the ADT on and the spaces application the Arclinux spaces application if you don't know what it is check out Arclinux.info the home page right the home page at the bottom I'll never ever remove it here this is what you need a big button to press and then you can install any of our packages on any of the Arch Linux systems out there. So gonna be uh, improved and then we are work actually working on the next ISO. So we um, have a GitHub for our development, dev stands for development and we just git clone it, git pull it, build it and communicate how to improve things. Zero Linux, all right, have a look. Manjaro was, um, I just wanted to know because basically Manjaro is not per se Arch Linux. If you investigate it, you'll see that the Arch Linux servers that we use, they all use, all these 13, is not in Manjaro, right? They have their own servers, their own packages. For instance, they don't have Reflector. A Reflector was part of the ATT. And um, well, I've, I've programmed around all that and said, okay, let's do it like this then. So it's gonna be used, gonna be usable as well on Manjaro. So stuff like that. This actually triggered all the rest up there. <laughs> so let's have, a let's have a look, right? If that's possible. And it was, it is. Okay. Got rid of was before that already a few months ago. So that's number seven videos about Garuda lots of videos 17 videos here is the list the number 17 so that was already months ago and there was but just uh, to give an overview just show you everything uh, six ISOs number six here and 16 videos on Endeavor OS Ariser is our own project five ISOs created I've made some new things here if you want to know about building stuff this and Carly is interesting. And do you want to create your own ISO? Go learn about a riser or um, Carly or LCI. Those are the three. Plus, of course, the GitHub's Arclinux. That's how you learn. Compare, compare, compare. Okay. Carly is here. Number four. With all the videos. Some new th things I've changed as well, I believe. New ISOs up there. But you'll see the new articles that I've made. Uh, read more in this article if you're interested to learn how do people build ISOs, right? That's um, interesting to read and watch. The capital E matters, <laughs> right? Typos, oh yeah. ALCI, seven new ISOs. 
that's number three in our list of uh, support and it's ours our project ALCI for instance one of the things that people often ask is the Xenmod kernel that's here explained all here and voila and of course everything is based on Arch those are number two and then of course no need to mention it but Arclex is number one the ATT should work there we have also added enlightenment to the list in the drop down here desktop installer for those who want it it's just a click away there's no ISO for it but just a click install and you have it and they've made it actually easier than a few years ago to remove it again so the Arclinx desktop treasure is there as well to get rid of it again this is how it looks and we're not gonna theme or tweak or do anything with it it's pure arch here you have it have fun we've decided a few weeks ago probably right that um, we're gonna keep our own package what happened is that the Arcanix PAMEC application was not working and those things come from uh, sorry <laughs> I'm saying it wrong the AOR packages for PAMEC, PAMEC all, PAMEC AOR, there were some, there's some variation on the matter, right? It was not working. And I've made my own package build. That's basically what happened. And I've created Arclinx PAMEC all. So I would have this tool here. So I can have a look, okay, what's in that repository, what's in that file. There's some interesting aspects to the GUI, having a GUI rather than in a terminal a pseudo pacman minus i don't know qi or something so we have our own package which means it is always interesting to see what happens if i am on devro os if i install arclex pamacol what will happen it will kind of conflict what i always say to all these people I say okay get rid of anything that's pointing to pamac anything and install arclex pamacol because it contains all the dependencies a long list of things that it needs and it will get it, it will install it as long as you have the Arclinx repos of course so yeah kudos and uh, kudos to Manjaro team we've changed some things um, the Arclinx theme tweak tool became an Arclinx tweak tool the Arclinx logout became an Arclinx logout and we have communicated uh, with you over the weeks and telling you what you should do and we're using now Calamars latest for a variation or well not the very last because a few days ago there was a new one but it's always a new one but this one is used on the ISO that's also a new Arch ISO version that's implemented and then with updates come strange things right suddenly the first line was no longer the first what was the last line and so we had to switch everything up again inside our building scripts and here we have it so this is back to normal first line is open source open source no nouveau then the nvidia and then nvidia without nouveau and then no mozart this is the other way around you see so these things happen they mess up our code and fine we adapt grub few icons more I believe I've um, I should give credit to the correct distribution but I saw somewhere so oh that's that's interesting and I've added those lines as well as well so we if you happen to boot up and say oh my god that shut down right you have this choice to restart or shut down and sound it's like an interesting thing to have so finally holiday time for us right july and august is gonna be family time private time holiday time but yes i will be programming i will be typing python and gtk so more arch Linux tweak tool stuff more options more distros that's what basically what i'm gonna do what's new that's the video i'm gonna put here and i've already made how to stay rolling from june to july basically it's a, a simple uh, update but you'll check it out i've filled it in with other interesting stuff like what is scale what is backup scale 
what is CP, right? Stuff like that. And a very important communication about SEDM, uh, fixed SEDM conf, a script to fix your SEDM in case it's broken. Voila, that's it. So you feel, or maybe you don't feel it, but I feel definitely the need to go in holiday and then focus on some programming and some fun with the family and then we'll see each other again for an other release in September, eh, the 1st of September, there'll be releases again. All right, cheers.